I'm, I'm, I'm missing the relevance here. The, the, in our opinion, this is this has got to do with a totally different trespass situation too. I'm not sure. It's, it's, it's trespassing true. nonetheless, and it's for the same reason. I'm just not sure how it's relevant to you, sir. That was from Mr. It's Hall. relevant because you're you're contradicting yourself on many aspects, and I have you on video. He's asking about a prior incident that this gentleman wasn't even there for. It's like well, his current policy is copied and pasted from Manatee County, and it's the one he used against me. The relevance is the relevance is if he can make a false police report, he can basically use the trespass in the cops. Did you used to work for the Pasco County Sheriff's Office? Yes, not a lot. Do you know a lot of people who work within there? I certainly do. Do you know? Do they know you? Certainly. Do you guys hang out in private settings? No. Are you biased towards the police? I don't know how that's relevant. Are you biased towards the police? I'm an objective individual, sir. You're an objective individual. I am. So why were you dishonest out front versus inside? What, why the different story? Why didn't you tell him the real reason? Mr. Magger, I, I, I wanted to get to this, but there's case law on point that you, you have the latitude to limit cross-examination to the point where it gets to interrogation that's repetitive and only marginally relevant. And Mr. Mm -hmm. Cox has been going at this witness for probably, probably an hour and a half, and I think marginally relevant the terminology used in the case law is so you're requesting that I'm done with this guy? I mean, I, I tend to agree unless you have something new. Uh, let's see here, something new. Give me a second. Because this is the main guy. This is the guy who brought all this on. I want him to know that if he would have just accepted the documents. Oh, okay, something new. When the police came, did you even walk by us or did you go outside the back door? I went outside the side door. Side door. So is that to intentionally avoid us? Yes, sir. Okay. And why were you avoiding us when we were there to see you? Because I was not aware you were there to see me. I thought you were there just to go ahead and video and do what you've done in the past, which is video our, our office. And I've done that in the past? Do, uh, no, Mr. Hoffman. Okay. So yeah. I, that's a different case, right? Yeah, we've established that. Right. So I've never done that in the past. Correct. But your tripod and video camera by the gatekeeper led me to the conclusion that you were doing that. So this, it was your opinion. And why did you need to avoid us? Why couldn't you come say, stop recording and understand what was going on with us? Sorry. When, when you say us, who was with you? Mr. Huffman. Anything you me? I'll tell you this, sir, because there, there honestly is nothing more than I would like to actually have a decent and humane conversation with you gentlemen. You were not willing. Well, it takes two, it takes two to tango, sir. And it's I there. tried, when I served your cease and desist, I tried to have a conversation we, with you. We were very cordial that day. Did you respond? Did you email me back? Did you give me any correspondence to that? I did not. Nothing, right? Yeah. So how does the conversation start? I started the conversation. I came to you. I said, this sign's a problem. You're not following correctly. And you've since taken the sign down. When does the conversation start? It's, this is the first time we've actually got a chance to talk to each other. It's under bad circumstances over miscommunication from a gatekeeper. The relevant, okay, so when you did meet the police outside, we came right outside, right? You did, very close after my interaction. Uh, with yeah, we saw you outside, we came outside. The paperwork that we were there to hand you, did he hand it to you? Did who hand it? Oh, Mr. Mr. Huffman. Huffman. I believe did hand it to me, yes. Was Mr. Huffman recording inside? I don't know. I don't know if he had his camera or not inside. Why was he trespassed? Because he was disrupting business. He was actually right by one of our counters. Right he was by right in front of me. Yeah, that's one of our stations, sir, that serves the public. That's where the gatekeeper told us to stand. That's not my issue. We were following your directions. We were following her directives. You were standing at So the when station. we came outside and you were speaking to the cops, they would, did Anthony walk right up to you and hand you the documents we were there to give you? Yes. Did you take them? I did. How much time did that take? Probably five to ten seconds. Do you believe the be it would have been, that would have been a better resolution on the inside to take the documents and we leave? Or do you Question. believe this is that what we have going on here is a better resolution to that conflict? I don't think anybody wants to be here, sir. You obviously want to be here. You didn't want to take the documents. You didn't listen to your gatekeeper. No one's communicating inside there. <coughs> yeah. All right. I believe. I'm sure I could go on. I'm sure I could go on, but. Oh, can I call a witness, too? Not there yet. Okay, thank you. I have to yes, sir. So is it your testimony today that it's 
the tax collector's duty to protect the information based on uh, the Driver Protection Act that they referred to? Yes, sir. What actions does the tax collector's office take to make sure that you are in compliance with that statute? We develop a policy in accordance with that federal statute to make sure we can take action in the event that an individual could have their information uh, stolen. And does that policy include prohibiting the recording without prior approval? That's correct. Inside that lobby? Yes, sir. Is that lobby where transactions take place between the public and your employees? Yes, sir. Are the sensitive information which is protected by that act ever conveyed verbally to the um, general public? No, sir. It's all done through uh, documentation? Documentation or electronic means. We have uh, pin pads that uh, people will enter their social security number onto or driver license number. If somebody were to walk behind an individual standing at a counter interacting with one of your clerks and you became aware that they were looking at sensitive information intentionally or appeared to be intentionally looking at sensitive information, what action did the tax collector's office take? We would shut down the office and depending on the severity of the situation, potentially call law enforcement. And the purpose of call law enforcement would be to, <coughs> to stop that individual from jeopardizing privacy and private information of another person. Would you ask that they would trust us at that time? I would say yes. to the, the term of customer being used because nobody goes in there voluntarily. You can object to the wrong Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, and is part of that process, checking in with the gatekeeper, receiving a number, is all that in place to, to help you keep order? Yes, sir. Yeah. You, the tax collector, Mr. Fasan, he's an elected official, correct? He is. He holds public office? Yes. Is able to set policy within the office and delegate policy setting to his staff? Yes, sir. And the policies you've been discussing this morning, they've been adopted by the tax collector's office in order to, to help the business function? Yes, sir. The video recording policy specifically, is it fair to say that that, is, that policy is preventative in nature? Yes, sir. Do you have to wait until your office has violated federal law before you can enforce that policy? Yes, I mean. I mean to say, do you have to wait for the information to inadvertently be disclosed to enforce that Objection, policy? legal conclusion there. Asking for a legal conclusion. So it's a yes or no. If somebody, if somebody is coming in there with Objection. a camera, I don't, what are you objecting to? You're asking him for a legal conclusion. He says he's not a lawyer. He says he can't make legal conclusions. It's not a legal question. I agree. Okay. If somebody comes in there with the video camera, do you have to wait until the confidential information has been compromised in, no. in order to enforce your policy? No. Your policy is prevented. It is. Okay. Um, do you have to wait until your customers are, are disrupted and, and upset, or, is, or can you enforce the policy prior? Prior, sir. Sure. Essentially, the policy is in place to prevent those things from happening, correct? That's correct. No other questions. May I follow up quickly? Briefly. Is it not your policy that made you take the actions which started the disruption and the threatening of my person? Can you explain the question? I'm sorry. Was any, no one was talked to, no one was bothered, nobody was bothered or anything up until you guys decided to refuse service, correct? Who, did I speak to anybody before that? This is this is outside of what he 
his his rebuttal. He was saying his the policy is preventative to stop disruptions. But him actually following it. His question was is the policy preventative to stop disclosure of confidential and disruptions, I believe he added. So I think the question is outside the scope of the reader. Your question? No. My question. He said that the policy is a preventative measure to stop disruptions and disclosure of private information. Okay. So no disruption. First of all, there's no disclosure. Did anybody disclose private information that, that you're aware of? At what point, sir? Any time. In, the, in my career? No. In the office. Did I ever disclose any private information? Not to my knowledge. Did I gather any private information? Not to my knowledge. Was I there to gather private information? At the time, I was not aware of what you were there to do. Right. How about now? Of course, now I know, but it's not relevant. Now you know I was there for a 30-second transaction. Now, if your policy is to prevent disruptions, you enforcing your policy and stop serving the public is what caused the disruption. There was no disruption before that. No one said anything. No one was worried about us. No one knew who we were. No one cared what we were doing until they couldn't get their taxes collected, so to speak. I don't agree with that statement. What, when was the disruption then? Who was disrupted before that? Disruption was when you set up, when you came in and you set up your tri -calls. And who was disrupted? You began reporting. The entire office was disrupted. Sir. Do you have an, a statement from anybody? I have plenty of statements from our uh, employees. I may have got that outside the scope. It goes to the whole point that he just testified that they don't have to have a disruption. They don't have to have confidential information disclosed. They enforce the policy up front. He's already testified to that. But as you can see, enforcing the policy caused the disruption. It, it started the hecklers. It, it got me threatened. So basically, I'm in fear of getting beat up inside. And for simply following what the person told me to do, he'll be right out. We hand on the paper, we leave. Did you, for Mr. Kuwait, uh, collect a uh, 
written uh, letter of trespass initiating the trespass? Yes, after I spoke with everybody to get everybody started the story, he later provided me with the rent seat. Did you also uh, collect, what you said, let me show you. You testified that Mr. Quote provided you with a written statement, so if I'm placing in front of you what's been remarked for identification purposes in the exhibit I, do you recognize that? Yes, sir. Does that fairly accurately depict the written statement that you collected from Mr. Quote that day? Yes, sir. Uh, at this time, the county would seek to introduce exhibit I into evidence and think you're right now. And based on the statement you collected from Mr. Kuat, both the verbal and written statement, uh, did you in fact determine that the appellant had been recording uh, inside the tax collector's office? Yes. And did you also observe the tax collector's uh, policy uh, that was posted outside? Yes. And based on your investigation, did you make a determination that the appellant's conduct violated that policy? It was, we trespassed them based on the ordinance, the process of ordinance. And the ordinance requires a violation of a posted sign of the policy, correct? correct. And did you determine that a posted sign of the policy was violated? No. That, um, that request came from the staff of the tax collector's office, correct? Yes. They initiated, requested that you issue a trespass? Yes. Right. And as part of your investigation, do you conduct a legal analysis of the policy for, for its merits and strengths and weaknesses? That's, that's part of what well, you, Let me ask it this way. You're not an attorney, correct? Correct. Okay. So, your job is not to determine if the posted policy is is a good policy or a bad policy. Correct. Right? You just need to determine if it was violated. Correct. If somebody wanted to challenge the policy, there would be other ways of doing that. Correct. Um, so, based on your investigation, did you issue a written trespass warning to the appellant, Mr. Felix, on that day, May 30th, 2023? Yes. Showing you what's been pre marked for identification purposes is Exhibit J. Does that fairly and accurately depict <coughs> the trespass warning that you issued on May 30, 2023? This is the, this is not the amended one. So I'm talking about oh, yes, that yes. day. Mm -hmm. That day at the tax collector's office. Uh, county would uh, move Exhibit J into evidence as Exhibit 10. Be admitted as count ten. And did you also inform the appellant verbally that he was being trespassed and not to return to the property? Yes. And prior to leaving the property, did you make sure that he leaves? Correct. Yes. Uh, as far as that day is concerned, did that conclude your investigation? For that, I had to come back for video evidence regarding how he exposed it. What was the video of it? It was a video of him in the tax collector's office. Uh, did you later learn that there was an issue with the trespass warning that you issued on May 30th? Yes. What was that issue? The at the top section for the address, they need to be placed in a different section of the form, and I need to update his address to be on the first line. So essentially, you, it sounds like you're saying you put the the address of where he was trespassed from in the wrong section of the form. Okay, based on that, did you uh, issue an amended trespass warning on June 9th? Yes. And did that trespass warning specify uh, the address where he was trespassed from? Yes. I'm going to show you what's been pre-marked for identification purposes. This county's Exhibit K. Does that fairly and accurately depict the amended trespass warning uh, that you issued on um, June 9th? Yes. Uh, at this time, the county would seek to introduce Exhibit K into evidence. It's Exhibit 11. 
And um, how did you uh, make sure that that amended trespass warning would be delivered? So through my supervisor, they had to move it through um, the mail. Was, that, was it certified mail? Yes. Okay. And <coughs> county would uh, seek to introduce pre-marked as Exhibit L as uh, a copy of the certified mail receipt. Can I object to that as I didn't sign for that? You object to the... I did not sign for that, no. Because if, if I was there and I knew they were sending me something, I would send it right back just like Anthony did. So it wasn't accepted by me. It wasn't served to me. I did not sign for that. Okay. Uh, do you object to the green card being entered signed by somebody else? I do object. It has nothing to do with me, that receipt right there. It wasn't me. It, I didn't sign it. If it was me, I would definitely send it back. And according to Mr. Bonnie, then I wouldn't have been served the second trespass. I have that on video if you'd like to hear it. Did you agree that you did get a copy of the trespass? Well, it was handed to me out of my control. If, if, I, if I was there to sign for it, I would have said, no, thank you. Return to sender. And I would have never even been in this proceeding right now. Right. It'll be admitted as kind of school. Yeah, I just felt like it's only being admitted to show that he did receive it. He's obviously not contesting that fact. He filed it. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have because I didn't know what it was. Uh, no further questions. We can. Yeah. Hi, how are you? How are you? Prefer Viana or Ms. Pena? Ms. Pena. Um, You said you saw a video of what we were doing inside of the tax collector's office? Correct. And what did you see on that video? We walked in with Mr. Upton. I see you set up your tripod by the gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. um, I see you engage with verbal contact with other people in the tax collector's office. Did you watch from beginning to end? Yes. From the time we entered to the time we left? Yep. Okay. From the clip of the gate, yes. Okay. So we walked in. We spoke to the receptionist, correct? <coughs> from, yeah. from what I can see. Yeah, and then we stood to the side, correct? I see you stand like right there by the gatekeeper. All right, right to the side. Here's the, the desk where the gatekeeper is. She's got window partitions, right? And I was just standing there, like she told me to do. Okay, and then Mr. Huffman was right here in front of me, right? Which one of us was recording? I'm sorry, can you repeat your answer? I couldn't hear. The question? I couldn't hear her answer. To which question? Where you were or where Mr. Huffman was. Where was I standing? Right. In front or to the side? The front is here where well, the cut. It's at an angle with the gatekeeper. So, so we, it's like right here. We walk in, I already have my tripod opened up, ready to. All I have to do is sit it down. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that correct? Yeah. We walk in, you speak to the gatekeeper right here, the lady behind the glass receptionist. Right? Yeah. We're here to speak to Mr. <laughs> Corette. We have these papers for him. No problem. Just give, give him a minute, he'll be right out. And then we move over here to the side right next to her. I set, it's already set up. I just put it down in front of me. Objection, I don't specify. You know, a lot of that. Did I just put my tripod set it in front of me? As far as I know. Is everything I've said so far accurate? As far as I know. Was Mr. Huffman standing in front of me? I believe he was standing like parallel to you. From what I can call. Not in front of me? Okay, um. So. Did you see any kind of flailing, yelling? I just see you interact with multiple different people. Oh, that's my but question. But I can't, I can't testify for a recording because there was no recording on the video. So no audio. So you didn't get to hear the context of what was going on. Correct. You don't know that I was threatened? No. You don't know that the gatekeeper told me to wait right here? Correct. I didn't hear no audio. So all, you, so all you saw was us walking in, speaking to her, standing next to the thing. And engage with multiple? I'm saying before that. Before, what? Before anyone engaged me, all we did was walk in, ask her, 
about handing documents over and stood next to the gatekeeper's desk. Yes, I saw you guys standing next to the gate, or right there by the gate. And how much time had passed by? I don't know. I can't. Did you watch the video? Yeah, I watched the video. Approximately yeah, how much can't. time passed by from the moment we stood here to the moment people started engaging me? I don't recall the time. You don't recall? Well, if I said 10, 15 minutes, would that sound about accurate? Again, I can't recall. Do you recall how long the video was? No. Was it more than a half hour? I cannot recall the time. Was it less than a half hour? She's answered the question. Not recall the time. Not even approximately? No, there was multiple video footage that I watched. Okay. From different angles of the facility, so I can't recall the specific time that you're asking. Now, when you say I was talking to people, did I approach anybody? I saw multiple people come like throughout, so I don't know if they approached you or if they were just standing there. It just, I saw you engage. Did I move from there? I saw you, there was one that you returned towards another person talking. It was a lady. Oh, you mean like this? Well, it was kind of further towards her. But like okay. I said, from that video footage from when it started. Was it the I lady sitting in the second row, almost the second last seat? Yeah. She was about, would you say she's about 10, more than 10 feet away from me? Again, I can't recall specific right. measurements. So you saw me like this, and then when I was talking to her, I turned and talked to her. So I didn't see you. Did I go like this to her? I didn't physically see you turn. From different video footage, it will start at different times depending on what the video footage was sent to me. Did I approach her? I cannot recall that. So I spoke to her? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you don't know if she spoke to me first, Correct. and you don't know if I spoke to her first. You having conversations conversations with other people okay how, so you saw but you didn't hear correct I mean, so I you're assuming we were speaking to each other I saw you engage with other people engage in what form or fashion if you can't hear the video how do you know it was verbal well I would ass so you're assuming yeah I would assume that you were talking to, because of the conversation between two of you between who you and multiple people that are at the test You heard a conversation? No, I never said I heard a conversation. So you haven't heard any conversation? No, but I can make But you're saying I was talking to people. Two people were talking. And what gives you the notion that they were talking and what they were talking about? How do you know they were talking if you didn't hear anything? I can see people's mouths moving. Okay. So you saw my mouth moving on video and you saw another person's mouth moving on video? Yes. Okay. Is that disruptive somehow? I don't know yeah, what the conversation And what's the issue with me speaking to people? Um, am I allowed to speak to people? Okay, do you swear an oath to the Constitution? As far as what are you talking about? The United States Constitution of America. The Bill of Rights and the Constitution. I swear an oath to the Pasco Sheriff's Office, yes. The Pasco Sheriff's Office. Yes, but I was sworn in, yes. That's not what I asked, ma'am. Did you swear an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution? Yes. You did. Do you know any of the Bill of Rights? I mean, the first ten, what do you mean by that? Where what is the Bill of Rights? I'm not going to sustain. You don't need to answer that. I'm sorry, sir? She doesn't need to answer that. It's not relevant. Well, she swore an oath to the First Amendment. I'm fine that it's not relevant. Free press is not relevant in this case? Well, I was engaged in free press, and I believe I was trespassed for engaging in free press. She swore to uphold the free press that I was engaged in. I've not heard any testimony that you were trespassed for engaging in free press. Was I doing other than speaking and video recording? Repeat the question. You believe I was speaking to people? You don't know? Okay. You don't know if it was me? Who engaged them, or if it was them that engaged me, correct? Correct. And you, and you think I'm recording why? Why did you believe I was recording? What evidence do you have of that? Speculation. She has no personal knowledge of any of this. She wasn't there. What do you believe I did to disrupt business? Objection. She is not testifying. Let's just say she. I'm, I'm misunderstanding. I apologize. Um, what am I getting wrong here? It's up to the tax code results to determine if you're disrupting. Okay. Property. Does the trespass ordinance hold the same weight in private property as it does in public property? Legal conclusion. Did you trespass me by 166159? Say it again. Did you trespass me under 66159? That's the 
Is I asked that already? She testified that you 